Politics. I'm Jeff, and this is your SoCal Fishing Forecast for Thursday, May 18th. Quick look at here at our 10-day weather. Pretty much seems like Groundhog Day. Uh, we just can't get away from this June gloom, May gray, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is all the effects of the Coriolis effect, but, uh, you know, we got pretty steady cloudy skies every single morning, and then, uh, you know, 65 to 70 pretty much the whole week and uh it's great here showing our cloud cover you can pretty much see it's every day burns off in the afternoon like clockwork uh i can't wait for it to be to be gone <laughs> honestly it's driving nuts uh the good news is that that little catalina eddy that causes that is just that northwest wind that spins around the islands comes back up we get a little south wind bump uh pretty much staying consistent pattern here for the next foreseeable future and uh you know, here's friday same thing you know just the it, circle turns to an oval and that's more or less the same thing every single day so uh the good news is it's not crazy wind so you should have pretty good uh ability to see on the surface if you got some action seems like there's been a little bit more of surface action the last few days um, we're not seeing like foamers yet, uh, but we're seeing, you know, a couple of splashes here and there, a little breezer here and there. So, uh, the less wind, the better for that type of fishing and, uh, should help you find them a little bit quicker if you're uh, in a private boat as well. So, but all in all, things don't look too gnarly. We finally got our first, first south swell of the year looking nice. So look out for that, but, uh, let's, let's get into the charts. Uh, those cloudy skies have made it uh, horrible for trying to put together a nice chart here. So this is the eight day and uh, still pretty much the same as last week. You have warm waters on the inside and it kind of fades the cooler waters out here. So 62, 63 out here, 61 and then high 50s around the 60 border right in this area. So kind of gives you an idea of the color range. Uh, however, you can see that this current is still pushing up and it's really trying to clean up this water. Um, I mentioned last week uh, that I really like this hard edge right here. Uh, this stuff is like, I'd be targeting that. And I'm pretty sure the guys at the Ensenada on the Pongas from like Mars have been targeting it because they've been on the bluefin pretty much every single day. Uh, and they're trolling Mad Max and all I know, all the fish are right around. 100, uh, 180, somewhere in there, but uh, they've been scoring pretty good. So, yeah, I really like I really like hard lines like this. Uh, not that bluefin really care too much about dirty water because they don't care <laughs> at all. <laughs> but usually, other pelagic species really like that type of stuff. So, uh, but yeah, let's get back to color shirts, but. Chai Island still had uh, pretty consistent sea bass fishing. It's not perfect every day. Some days are limits. Some days are just a couple. Uh, but it's been pretty consistent overall. Uh, there's some some lunkers out there, man. 60-ish uh, definitely happened here and there. Um, and some just over legal size, too. So uh, all in all, really good fishing coming from the Chai Islands. And you can catch them on squid. I'd say a majority of people up there are throwing that white pearl swim bait on a lead head, uh, like I talked about last week. Um, Zoom Magnum Super Flukes are, uh, I'd say, the most dominant ones, but really, wh whatever you can find, it'll work just fine. Uh, good little run of sea bass at Santa Barbara Island. Uh, yeah, there's been a couple, not lights out, uh, but a couple caught in the last few days. Still a couple of yellows, hard in the kelp lines there as well and uh you know just like the other islands you can work those sandy peaches for a halibut too and they are definitely around uh not so much of a word from nick it just seems like this water is still too cold uh you know this is we're tipping into 55 56 out here so not really conductive for a lot of game fish but give it time as this stuff warms up uh it should be looking pretty good uh, Catalina, still a couple of yellows hanging around here and there. Again, there's like extremely low volume of fish because this thing just gets whacked all the time, all the time, all the time, every day. So uh, don't expect to find a bunch, but 
If you don't want to travel far, this is a decent option. And our water seems to start to look up here. So you might find a little bit more activity from this island. Moving down south, uh, San Clemente Island is pretty much the same thing that I saw fishing last week. Uh, you got a chance at some home guard yellows that are around the island from China Point to Pyramid Cove and all pretty much on the yo-yo. Uh, you could, you can maybe get one on a dropper loop on a sardine. Uh, you do not need the squid for them. They don't necessarily need it. Um, but yeah, I would definitely be like six X junior. Uh, the color doesn't matter. We caught them on mint. We caught them on blue and white. We caught them on, uh, you know, scrambled egg, whatever. The color does not matter. Uh, just if you burn it, they'll bite it as long as they're around. So, uh, moving down south, let's talk. Uh, start talking tuna again, and a little bit more kelp patty fishing. There is a variety of kelp patty yellow fishing going on right now. Uh, decent grade, not rats. Um, I know, I know. Uh, there's some rats out there still, but um, I typically like to let those go. I know you can keep them. Don't get me started. Uh, I know it's silly. They're fast growing fish, but a lot of those yellows didn't really make it to San Clemente Island last year. And I'd like to see a few more make it there before they're absolutely slaughtered down here. So uh, I know that's kind of like the semi only daytime fishing going on, but try and let a couple, couple small ones swim north for you. Um, but yeah, we've had uh, good kelp paddy fishing 43 to the corner to the weather buoy kind of this area too. And then always again, we talk about this little V-notch here that I like right here. You can kind of see the canyons line up. This section here is just always just dynamite fish magnet all the time. Um, and right now we've got a little bit of bluefin action right in here and a little bit right in here. So all those fish are kind of lined up as well. Uh, to go along with the kelp petty fishing. Most of the bluefin fishing is still coming at night. It seems like it's slowed down a little bit. Some guys are only finding schools of like the 40 to 80, uh, which is still, you know, great, great size fish and still, they still taste good. Um, but we're not seeing uh, as many of the jumbos as we've seen in prior years, but it's, I mean, it's May. This isn't really, this is still preseason as far as I'm concerned. So. Um, but yeah, I can tell you, uh, still night fishing has been pretty good. Uh, mainly coming on jigs, 200 to 400 grams, you know, the usuals, uh, <laughs> if you need a recommendation, leave a comment, but you probably already know at this point, you've heard what's working most of the time. Um, we, we all have our favorites and favorite colors and whatnot. Uh, also coming down to upper hidden, there's been a couple fish seen around here too. And really, if you're getting away from sport boats and all that kind of stuff during the daytime, I always recommend troll something. Mad Max, spreader bar. Um, if you're going to cover ground, I'm trolling Mad Max or fly in a kite with a yummy. If I'm going to slow it down, uh, you know, fly like a cat, uh, California flyer and drag a spreader bar. You can do multiple things at once. Um, do something because... The daytime fishing, uh, trying to roll up on some of these sporadic fish, isn't that great. So try and get them to come to you. And things like spreader bars work for that reason. They raise fish. Simple as that. Coronado Islands, uh, again, not a whole lot of action. Everyone's really skipping. Uh, trying to fish tricky island conditions and turn over water. We can just slide offshore and kill petty fish and have a much better chance at finding some yellowtail on a kill petty. So... That's it for this week, guys. Stay safe out there on the water. Hang a couple fish, and we'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out our website and online store at chasingprojects.com. And make sure you share the stoke.